Hello everybody, welcome to this episode. This episode is the second episode of Top Kapu Palace series. If you did not watch the first one, I will put a link on the description. Today we are going to visit Audience Hall. Before I start, let me pause the video for a while. As you have seen, I'm now in Istanbul for a long time and I have been shooting videos of historical places in Istanbul like palaces, mosques and other maybe sometimes hidden, sometimes famous touristic places. And I'm not sure if you are happy or not from these visits. Please comment if you like the visits and please also comment where do you wanna see next. And one extra comment I want from you people is your thoughts about Ottoman Empire. I mean until now you see a lot of mosques, palaces, buildings, some cultures, most of the things about Ottoman Empire from my channel. Please tell what do you think about Ottoman Empire. Let me continue. This gate is some kind of famous gate. There is a famous painting about this gate. You can see the original painting on right bottom corner. This is the festival ceremony from the date of Sultan Selim III. This stone is for the Sanjak. I mean Sanjak is the flag of Ottoman Empire. It's very very important for this culture. So if the Sanjak is up, it means we are alive, we have our own freedom, we have our own government. Sanjak's meaning is that. And here you can see the door of audience hall. This door you see, not the one on the left, is the entrance door of the visitors, the ambassadors, the viziers and other governmental stuff. If you want, you can pause the video and read all the descriptions. This fountain is built like 100 years later from the original building and it's really great. It's just a piece of art. The door on the left is the door where the presence for the Sultan is going to be taken. And the window between these two doors, they represent the presence to the Sultan. So they open the presence in front of the window, Sultan sees, they close and they take the present from the left door to the inside. When you enter, the audience hall is kind of small. There are two thrones in it. This is the famous golden ceremonial throne. It's not used that much. The throne on the right back corner is used mostly. Because it's not well illum illuminated, you cannot see all the details, but it has highly ornamental details. There are calligraphies, dragon figures inside. By the way, if you guys have any questions about the things you see on video, please leave a comment and I will try to explain. And this tab is the tab to make the conversations more private. I mean, they open the tab, the water flows, and because of the white noise the water the tab generates, anybody from the outside cannot hear anything. And here is the backyard. 
Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe.